Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the three of the different possible ways to add icons. I've already set up the React Native Bottom Tabs navigation on top of Stack Navigation. And there are three different libraries I'm going to use to add the icons. And I'm going to show you those. First is React Native Vector Icons. Second will be React Native SVG. And third is the, and the most interesting is uh, Lottie React Native. Okay. So this uh, table button will be a pressable component and uh, okay, it needs to be imported from native base. So let's spread the props on press equal to props okay on press equal to on press okay we need to add back inside the text since right now we are adding icon as text And the icons are coming, the icon text is coming. So let's add some styles. Now the icon box is right in the middle. Now we really want icons, not icon text, right? So let's uh, get the route dot name. We've already created the uh, names of the routes here in the screen names home screen calendar screen and add screen this three will be using here so route dot name if route dot name equal to screen names dot home screen will be rendering some icon and if other then we'll be rendering other icon so it will be like that Using the accessibility state, we'll be able to know which button is selected. And using this, we can uh, uh, set our size, set our color of the button icon or button, whichever we want. Suppose we will be the calendar screen. And for this, we are going to use the React Native Vector icon. And this name can be anything, V icon or anything. So React Native Vector icons. 
and now uh, we need to know which icon we want to show so i'm going to show the calendar icon from phantasm so here it will be phantasm and here it will be v icon name equal to calendar and size equal to size and uh, color equal to color So now the icon is coming as you can see and here you have the accessibility state selected uh, true so you just need to take care uh, of the uh, name of the type of the icon this can be anything it doesn't matter we can or the icon anything it doesn't really matter The second one will be screen name start home screen and this one will be using Vec Native as VG. So this is the GitHub repository and here you can see you can import all these things from React Native SVG and use them to convert your SVG to a React component. Okay, so you will be able to uh, create a React component out of your SVG file and I'm using this one okay I'm using this home icon uh, from my Figma file and I've exported it to my SVG folder right now it is static so we're going to create it uh, so we're going to set it up so that it works dynamically As you can see, it is working nice, but the size of the home icon is not really looking good. Okay, let's increase the size a bit. So size equal to if it is focused, and let's say a 36 will work and a 32 if it is not selected. Okay, now this is looking quite good. So now the last and the most interesting part is uh, the animated icon using Lottie React Native. Okay. Let me show you the Lottie files where you can get the Lottie files from. So go to this website lottiefiles.com and here you can search for any type of file and you can uh, just explode from here and uh, use any file you want. You can go to that file, edit it or just download the existing file. I'm going to edit a few things and uh, edit, uh, I'm going to edit the colors. Uh, I have for my file I've edited this color and uh, I've also edited uh, this color. 
So I've edited this to color and then I've just downloaded it from here and it gets downloaded as a JSON file and we are going to use this JSON file and uh, as you can see this is the JSON file and we are going to use this JSON file for our animated icon. So there are a few props that we need. First is the source, the source of the JSON file. So we are going to add the source of the JSON file that is inside the Lottie folder. Add that JSON. And the next will be the loop equal to false. So we don't want the animation to go on and on. And autoplay equal to false. And we don't want the animation to start on its by itself. Okay. So we want it to be controlled. So that equal to animation, we are going to create a user f variable Yes, now it's coming, but it is not really animating because we haven't done the functionality till now. First, going to send the props. The prop that we only need is focus. So if it is focused, then only we'll start the animation. And if the focus goes, then we will revert it back. Okay. So if our load is first time, then we want some functionality to happen. So that is, if it is focused, then um, we want the animation to be static, okay? Since this is the first load, so we are not really animating it. We want it to be animated when it's clicked, right? So let's check. So this is the frame that we want. So as you can see, we want it to be here in the blue color. So that is the 37 frame. So animation.current.play and the animation will go from 37 frame to 37 frame okay so you don't want it to be animated at all and the next is else so else if it is not focused then animation.current.play and we want it to stay at zero frame okay so we don't want it to be animated when it is, uh, when it gets loaded first we don't want it to be animated and uh, after the this one we'll turn it to false so that uh, we can uh, do the other functionality And next else if if this is focused and this is not first click then we are going to animate it from frame uh, 0 to 37 let me show you okay so we want it to go from 0 to 37 like this and we want it to animate like this that's why we are adding frame 0 to 37 okay so we have added that and else if it is not focused if the focus goes out then we want it to revert back okay so we want it to go from frame 37 so we want it to go from frame 37 to frame 0 okay so as you can see nice cool animation right 
now we uh, we don't really like this uh, style so we are going to add the linear gradient so first uh, the linear gradient has a few props that we are going to use first is the star So we want the linear gradient from top to bottom and we're going to add some styles. This will be the button container. So Now we have added all the styles, but we haven't added that color till now. So which color do we want from top to bottom? So we are going to add two colors right now. As you can see, you can add these icons anywhere. So this is all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you have doubts, then you can check my GitHub repository where you can find all the codes.